This just in, Yesu announces the follow-up radio to their beloved and discontinued 818 series, this time on Ham Radio Tube. So I found this out from Thomas Witherspoon's blog, QRPer.com, and this comes from Martin Lynch and Son. Let's check this out. Introducing the Yesu FTX-1F Portable HF Transceiver, Yesu's replacement for the venerable FT-818 and FT-817, and there is a look at it. That is pretty freaking sweet. Not going to lie, I kind of like it. I like the simple user interface there. We're not clogged with buttons, which means it should be very software-driven, uh, and Yesu has done a pretty good job at their menu systems lately, so I am curious to see this in person. This looks pretty sweet. So let's read all about it. Many thanks to Gavin Golf Mike Zero Whiskey Delta Delta, who notes that Martin Lynch and Son have posted a product page for the U, the new Yesu FTX 1F. The following specs and details all come from Martin Lynch and Sons. The new FTX 1F will be available early 2025, so maybe save some of that Christmas money for uh, early next year. The new FT1X is a portable transceiver utilizing SDR technology and provides 6 watts of power output with the 5,670 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack. Good to see Yesu knows that lithium ion batteries exist. That's awesome. Which enables 9 hours standalone operating time on the HF bands, SSB mode, and 8 hours operating time on the VHF, UHF bands. FM mode based on a 6648 duty cycle up to 10 watts is available when using an external DC power supply. It's a true all-rounder. HF 50, 144, 430, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 430 megahertz all-mode field transceiver providing standalone nine hours operation. And then we go on to talk about some of the details. Uh, also does C4 FM, SDR technology, and 3DSS, which is the three-dimensional spectrum stream that kind of Tron looking thing on a 4.3 inch high resolution full color touch display panel. That's pretty sweet. Two independent receiver circuits provide true simultaneous dual band operation, whether in the same band or in different bands. Satellite guys, I think they're coming after you. So you can do HF and VHF, HF, UHF, VHF, VHF, UHF, UHF, VHF, UHF, and UHF and VHF. Two loudspeakers ensure clear and powerful audio output. That is awesome. Yesu's done some really awesome things with their speakers on like the FTM 500 and the, the FT710 AES. Uh, that is really cool because that 818 sitting right behind me and most portable radios are not loud enough. So I'll be curious to actually hear this out in the field. An optional automatic antenna tuner can be attached to the rear of the, tr rear of the transceiver with the 5670 milliamp high capacity lithium iron bat ion battery, uh, an optional cooling fan, which is necessary for comfortable FT8 operation, can also be combined with the antenna tuner. So no built-in antenna tuner. I know some guys will probably gripe about that. Not a big deal for me. I mostly use resident antennas, but it's good to see that there is an option for one so you can spend more money. RF front end and low, end, uh, low noise reference oscillator enable phenomenal multi-signal receiving characteristics, effective QRM rejection, afforded via high-speed 32-bit IFDSP, Yesu's renowned interference reduction systems, shift width, notch, contour, APF, DNR, noise blanker. Yesu's noise reduction is, is phenomenal. Compatible with wires X, you get the primary memory groups for your repeaters and stuff, memory auto grouping, uh, that uh, can be channels can be categorized in each band that can be quickly recalled by band groups HF, VHF, UHF, AIR, others. USB ports supports CAT operation, audio input, output, and transmit control. So this is going to have everything. I'm amazed. It'll probably still have like mini USB. I, I would be shocked uh, if we see USB C ports on that. I mean, we have rovers on Mars. We shouldn't be using anything but USB-C nowadays, but I'll be curious uh, what that's going to have. The new FTX 1F will be available early 2025. Please be ready with for this forthcoming exciting new radio. So there you go. Looks like we will have a new radio to buy early next year. So <laughs> doesn't look like it'll be here in time for Santa to bring it, but... 
I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'll, I'll be curious to uh, to see how that performs and get my hands on one. And uh, probably the first time I'll be able to see one will be at Florida Hamcation. So there you go. You heard it here first on Ham Radio Tube. Thanks for watching in 73.